Yeah. Hey, what's up? It's Alex Danger with Rock Rage Radio. Sitting here with Sever the Wicked. Y'all killed it up there. What's up, man? Sounded great. I talked to you on the phone a couple weeks ago. Yeah, man. Appreciate that it. whole phone interview just completely disappeared off the computer. Oh. Didn't man. save, didn't record, didn't just meant to be, was it? It wasn't. It but sometimes. we've got you here, right here on video, it's which is even better. better. Yeah, they can see your gorgeous <laughs> face. <laughs> I like the spikes, man. I don't, mine aren't as big. Yours are bigger than mine. Oh, you doing it too? But that's how it uh, should be. Got hey. the copyright. No. Yeah, hey, still, I got six got small it. ones Hang though. Yo, that makes up for it. Yeah, yeah that makes up for it. Start drinking some milk. Yeah. They'll grow. Right. <laughs> and he's Hell a big yeah. believer in the milk. So, uh, drummer, mm-hmm. singer, Weird. singer, Focus. bass player, guitar, or bass like, player. You got some, got some, some, some class, some, some style, s- some swag for yeah. a bass player. Well, yeah, you know, I got a. Do something. Gotta do something, man. I'm a bass player. What do you expect? <laughs> I tell you, we get a bad rap. We really yeah, do. Yeah. Are you a bass player too? I am. I used to be a drummer for like 20 years. Yeah. But this isn't about me. It's about you. I did it the other day. I started on bass and switched I'll get my own interview one day. <laughs> uh, so, um, walk us through your writing process. Is there one person that writes it and comes up and like, fucking play it just like this or you're out? No. Uh, That's good. They, we get in the practice room and toss riffs around and... Mm-hmm. Yell at each other a little bit. Yeah, get yeah, right. and we can fight a little bit to get it. You know, usually a heavy ass rip will spawn it or something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then I start going, okay, do this and do yeah. that and do that. And yeah, just structure it out, see how it flows. And, and while, it's, while, it's, while it's developing, he's got a, he's on his little phone, we're taping it so we yeah, can write lyrics. I, I can't write live lyrics, I don't know why, I just can't do it. <laughs> Not everybody can, but sometimes yeah. uh, the ones you sit down and put yeah. some thought into come out with a better story anyway. That's how I like to do it. Yeah. 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 Really it's a pretty, right. pretty easy process. You know. So you make it sound easy, but I'm a musician. It's not that overall, easy. it's not that bad. <laughs> the, the hardest thing is just remembering <laughs> no. the riff. Because yeah. Like, yeah. a lot oh, of the no, totally. times like, we'll, we'll sit down and we'll have like a complete song fleshed out, ready to go. And then we'll get busy with like a couple gigs, and then the next thing you know, we come back in the band room to start working on it again. It's like, how'd that riff go? Start yeah. recording your practices, man. Yeah, yeah, it's even when we record it. That's get, you little, <laughs> get you a little task cam, a little recorder. No. It doesn't got to be good, right? Just, got, enough, just enough so you can be like, fuck, that's how yeah. it goes. Yeah. We, you got, know? we got too many technical guitars. But, the, you know, I used to play in a band with a guy who said, you know, if I don't remember the riff in a couple of days, it might not have been that good. Yeah. Well, you know, so maybe, I guess, yeah. maybe it's just uh, kind of fate going, you know what? You can do better than yeah, that. Yeah, you can. You know? Just throw away riffs. Yeah. 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 So, uh, Elephant in the Room, you are the second drummer we've had uh, with a... Uh, uh, I don't, Prosthetic? I don't want to call it fake because it's not a fake leg. It's, it's a it's fake a leg. leg. But um, <laughs> the other guy... Um, <laughs> They were in through through the woods. Through woods. Yeah, that's Cody. Cody. Yeah. yeah, he's yeah, got two of them. Yeah, he's got. He was born that way. And Blew my mind. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is it? Do you find it different? Did you learn the drums with the prosthetic? No, so no, you, I was a, I was a, already a develop a speed demon. Just you know, tore it up, and then this happened, and it just set you back. And right, you had to I kind had of to relearn. Re- I had to redo things, and it, it it took a little bit of my. It took a lot of my. My chops away on certain things, you know, the feet. You're still mm-hmm. a but mm-hmm. you know, I compensate with, you know, other other things. I mean, you couldn't tell, you know, listening to it, you wouldn't be like, that dude's got one real leg, one prosthetic. You can tell, you know what I mean? Like, you really can't tell. So you definitely worked hard at it. Yeah, man, it's it's it's, it's therapy. Yeah, I I mean, I have to imagine that, and not putting Cody down at all, but I have to imagine it's it's a little bit harder. To relearn after, yeah. after he was born that way, he had no right. choice. So it was kind of yeah. yeah. He, but he, I admire him because you, you, yeah, oh, absolutely. But yeah, like you said, he was born that way. You, you, it happened to you, and so you also had to deal with the mental side of it as well as oh yeah. Because I'm sure it's and music was what got me through it. Yeah, because there, there was a time a few years ago I had a pinched nerve in my shoulder. So my left arm was literally stuck in this position for like nine months. Mm. Couldn't play. The funny part was. They kept telling me I needed surgery to repair it. I'm broke. Fuck it. I guess I'm done. But I just uh, I read about this uh, this physical therapist who was a drummer, and almost the exact same thing happened to him. And instead of surgery, he used drums as his therapy. You know, slowly working the arm a little bit at a time, and he ended up getting like 95 percent of the use of his arm back. So that's what I tried. I got about 90 percent back. It's still pretty good. But it's still yeah. It was. I'm like, oh, fuck them. They wanted like a hundred grand for a surgery. I just banged out the drums. You know? <laughs> but it's you know the physical side of it is a different ball game than the mental side because mentally it's almost harder to beat 
Because it's, I mean, like I said. Do it, you have the, uh, as, uh, did the ghost limb thing ever kind of happen? Like, where you like, I can feel my foot. You know, yep. Like, I can, uh, I can feel, I'll get, I, I'll get a, a sharp pain in my ankle. And ain't no ankle there. Right. Uh, cold weather in wintertime, it's constant, they're, they're stabbing pains. And or you'll get an itch, you'll go in bed, you're laying in bed, and you'll get, you'll get an itch at night, and you'll be like, and there ain't nothing <laughs> it's, got, it's 100% true. <laughs> Wake up, I lost my leg! Oh, sh- shit, never mind. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's people don't believe that, but it's true. So, did, uh, where are you guys out of, by the way? We're out of right, right, right here. We're about 15 minutes up the road. He's from Bluefield. I'm from Bluefield. Your brass is from Princeton. Yeah. Yeah, yeah wow. you guys, man, this is a beautiful place. I know, I'm sure that y'all growing up here probably were like, eh, it's fucking place. I don't know. Who's <laughs> it that great? <laughs> but I, uh, driving up here, this is my first time in West Virginia. This place is gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, it, yeah. it's, it's, it is beautiful for, you know, the wildlife and this. Yeah. Everything that I offers, you know, the, the stuff, the fishing and, Hunting and blah blah blah, white water rafting. Yeah, but no, but musically, it's 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 a struggle. Yeah, uh, I've heard that from everybody that I've talked to that's been yeah. in this area. Yeah, yeah. It, you know, because there's a lack of venues that will that's house the metal bands. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, we were talking to uh, Iron Iron Core, Core Resistance, Iron Core Resistance, down yeah. Kentucky, and uh, mm-hmm. they were saying the same thing about Kentucky. Yeah, they were just like you know. He's like it's this, that constant struggle. Yeah. you know of well, I mean, trying that, to find that's a the whole area. Even be. like the Virginia, there's a couple of big cities, but outside of that, all the small towns. I think that's something towns, like we in like the Raleigh music scene take for granted too, because you know we're we're in you know the Raleigh, yeah. North Carolina yeah. area. Yeah, got, so, got, like, so we've got Raleigh, Durham, Cary, yeah. Chapel Hill, Carborough, yeah. you yeah. know, all within yeah. an hour of each other. Yeah. So there's we literally have like venues, thirty so, venues yeah, that exactly. have rock or metal exactly. in that area. So it's 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 cake almost to get yeah. to get a show, and we we kind of well, that's really even what, thought about that. We kind of take advantage of that. We I hit think. Greensboro mm-hmm. and right. Oh, I didn't even say Greensboro. And we've hit Winston Salem when it had the. Uh, Ziggy's. Ziggy's, Ziggy's and yep. stuff. Yeah. But yep. Dude, I love that place. Yeah, that oh, place man. is so great. Ziggy's was so good. I went yeah. so many times in high school and college. So right. many times. I've seen all kinds of stuff. I've seen yeah. P-Funk play there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they had some yeah. huge acts come through there. They really did. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's 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 a... It's a something you have to hunt, hunt down gigs and just chop away at it. And mm-hmm. you got to roll the dice on the venue, and you know sometimes yeah. it's a good place, and then sometimes you got a drunk tripping over the mic cable on the way to the bathroom. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we we kind of resolved that where I grew. I grew up in a really small town. Yeah. There wasn't much going on. We just did house shows, man. And yep. that's like all the only thing that we could do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We've got those here too, occasionally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's. Yeah. But you got to have somebody that's willing to donate their house. That's yeah. Right. yeah. And you got to have, have people that aren't going to destroy. And you got to have the people house. that don't yeah. show and won't destroy it. Because I mean, this is like you know, in the city, it's like house, 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 yeah. house, house, house. Here, it's yeah. like house, house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You Trailer know. park. Yeah. So you've got less people, <laughs> less no, metalheads, you know, yeah, smaller yeah. populations. So there's yeah. going to be less metalheads. So that's definitely it. definitely something that I think you know us in the, like the city areas take advantage of. Is like I said, most of our venues I can drive thirty minutes and I'm there. Yeah. This is I'm sure a rare opportunity for y'all where it's like, yeah. Yeah. whoa, we don't have to drive three hours, guys. Yeah. What are we gonna do we with got, ourselves? We got two venues for, <laughs> in our area. We got one that's about you know it's just right up the road from us, and uh, then we got Beckley, which is. 45 minutes up the road for us. That's our right. only two really. That's like close to home. And yeah, and if you play those too much, you're oversaturated. Yeah. Yeah. And, then and then we hit Charleston. And then you might as well not be playing yeah. at all. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We hit Charleston, we hit Roanoke, and, you know, Virginia. So it's that's our really our home base types. To, then anything else after that, we got to, you know. No. Right. Are y'all in the studio right now recording anything? We're, or you just we're, recently we're already gonna, releasing anything? Working on stuff now for new, the. We're going to hit, I think, you know, we're going to try to. Do some summer shows and yeah, we play out a lot during summer. And then usually take some of the fall, most of the winter to do mm-hmm. recording and stuff. It, it'll slow things down. slow down so bad around. Really. Yeah, and you're in the mountains, so yeah, you the weather yeah. is a big, big yeah. issue with everything. So mm-hmm. yeah, it would be hard to dedicate yourself to a show in December in July. You know, you're like. Yeah. Oh, it's July. You want to play yeah. the show in December? Like, yeah. Well, how are we getting? Yeah, and then my work schedule is crazy through the winter. So yeah, right. Yeah, it kind of messes yeah. everything up. Because we have some harsh weather. Yeah, we do. Mm-hmm. Is that is that kind of like uh, 
I don't know, it, it kind of toughens you up a little bit. Yeah, it's like one bit. of those things where like, cause we get a foot and like if if that and then oh it yeah goes, no shut down. they say snow in North Carolina <laughs> yeah. and oh, it's yeah. like y'all get a dust over. and it's yeah. like yeah. Yeah. shut down they the roads they freak the fuck yeah. out they go buy all the bread milk yeah. eggs here you got to get like six or seven inches before they'll even yeah, yeah. And the only thing that closed down for snow is school yeah nothing right, else right. it doesn't get affected at all yeah well see <laughs> like my particular job if it snows that just means harder work for us because we do apartment maintenance so we're scraping yeah it was, you know what he does see, i work yeah. for like we gotta get public works for like a town or whatever right so we so, do the roads and yeah you gotta get ready for the people that will walk and will yeah, drive yeah, so yeah. they're yeah. safe everybody so. else goes home when it snows and we go to work yeah exactly <laughs> yeah exactly so i don't get snow days <laughs> but you know like so you guys all like drive like plow trucks or something that, that's what i do <laughs> four wheelers with plows yeah, on. yeah four wheelers and stuff. Plows on. Yeah, yeah trackers mm -hmm. that's the way that, it, that's that mountain way living riding. and when you're riding out of here at night time you gotta watch the deer yeah yeah because yeah. mm -hmm. they'll hit your car and try to shut out of it <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, notice he said they'll hit your car yeah. Yeah, not really you'll hit them well yeah. they will because yeah. they, they yeah. Can yeah. Yeah, side of your car all the things exactly you hear about you the, the, yeah. the country it's right you're in the heart of it yeah and if you see one, there's four more behind it. So yeah, right. Just because he's on the side of the road doesn't mean that he's got some buddies. That's so going if they hit out. your car and they die, can you take it home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. kill. Yeah, you, you sure can. Yeah. Like, I mean, literally, it's, as long as it's not sitting there. For no, I mean, five second no, rule. No, no, <laughs> five <laughs> second rule. Yeah. Usually, usually, if the, if the state police has come and if you report it, yeah. they'll tell you they you offer, want it. They offer it they you for anything yeah. else. Yeah. I would take it. I've never had that occasion happen because any time I've ever hit a deer or been hit by a deer, they've taken the fuck off. I mean, can yeah. you imagine yeah. how tender it'll be once you hit it with your car? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> like that's like. <laughs> and we got deer. We don't. We ain't yeah. got deer like North Carolina. Or other, and they're they're like dogs, small. Right. right. We got deer. Yeah, like right. elk sized deer. Oh yeah, you got the mammoth ones. Yeah, racks. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Are we got those like little deer? bullshit bambies. Right, we have some. There's elk. Yeah, they bring yeah. elk in. Yeah. We got coyotes. We got there's cougars. There's Crazy. there's a uh, yeah there's there's oh. a giant elk head on the fireplace at the place that we stayed at. Last yeah. Time. And, and hooves. His hooves are. Like, yeah, so somebody yeah. don't forget about legit the bears shot that too. Yeah, oh, yeah, the buffalo, bears. Some yeah, areas. bears. Yeah, there's buffalo. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Nature talk on <laughs> Rock Radio. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, that's what we love about these interviews. I was talking to a uh, in September last night, and yeah. uh, you know they'd start talking and oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, we didn't want to. No, this is how we do it. We want yeah. it to be. We don't want that cookie cutter. So, what's your band name? Yeah, what do you do? Oh, okay. Have a good one. You know, we uh, want to yeah. have a conversation. I mean, open the the, the combo open. open. Well, this yeah, is what, exactly. This is, this is what we cut. We, we cut our teeth on this kind of lifestyle, and it it's yeah, what I we mean, do it, with it, the music. It helps right. define you. It really. I does. mean, we're a metal band that comes right out of places that people would never consider. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, you got Byzantine. They're from West Virginia. Yeah. Okay. And That's a great fucking band. Yeah, yeah. they're from. A, they're just from up the road about an hour and a half, and they're you know they're like our. And then you got what? What? Is, what's the other band? Uh, the popular metal band. Uh, but other two, uh, those two bands are really <laughs> <laughs> must not be that popular. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not my kind of metal. It's not my kind Free of music. Are you talking about Boba Flex? Yeah, Boba Flex. Oh, Boba Flex. Oh, right. Flex. Yeah. Shows of those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah good guys. Boba Flex. Yeah, all right. Yeah, Swans with them a lot. I didn't yeah. know that they were from West Virginia. Yeah, they're from West Virginia. Yeah. That's crazy. And they yeah. never talked to me either. Like, yeah. That's like, who are you? <laughs> yeah. Play a show with us. We'll talk to you. So you also play bass, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, Actually, uh, Actually uh, he's the front man. Yeah, oh, the Lord. Front man. Yeah, they didn't want nothing to do with me. It's <laughs> <laughs> a jealous thing, I think. He's the guy who just comes in with the microphone. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's I'm here. The, the show that we played with them actually, we had a really good show that night. Maybe it had something to do with that. I think that's what it was. <laughs> Maybe they were like, who the fuck? Even if it wasn't, we're gonna say it was. <laughs> yeah. Was that EID? Yeah, was that, it? Was, that was a Enemy in the sky. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. want to say that. Well, we, y'all kind of like every show y'all ever played, you outplayed every band you ever played with. So. I want to say that we played together at Sweat with you guys when I was in EID. Maybe. I want to say that that is the case because as soon as I saw you on stage, I was yeah. like, that dude ultimately looks familiar. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. But we we did so many shows that sweat. It's just like those things end up being a blur. Yeah. I just get so hammered yeah. there to just compensate cool for the sound too. system. Because yeah. in my head, I'm like, this sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> well, and what is that place? Uh, 
the billiard place. Uh, Bessemer. Bessemer. Yeah, Bessemer. Still, yeah. yeah. We're getting that here sometimes. I think in August, first of August or something. The trailer park. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah they, that's like their monthly. That's, that's a cool, awesome. Band. That's a cool yeah. hookup. Yeah, they got that's, there. that's really a, is. Oh, we yeah. played. We played the with them guys on the white trash bash last year, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, some cool cats too. They really oh, are. Yeah. They I really are. They got, they got yeah. Buddha in their band. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's a cool. <laughs> yeah, he's a cool cat. <laughs> yeah, he's a character. They're all characters. He always makes us take pictures with him. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> like every time we see him anywhere, he makes us take pictures with him. Yeah. See, so yeah. y'all have any uh, tours planned in the future? Or y'all just uh, focusing on music right this moment. We're just gonna write the music and see how uh, we got monsters coming in. Oh, <laughs> real monsters. Oh, they're bringing me my shirt. Yeah, he's bringing in the monster. The Free monster. Free swag. We got monsters. Monsters. Monster dolls. Just walk through the door again. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so make sure y'all check out. Thank you I so love much. you, Scarecrow. <laughs> if I had the pictures of my Scarecrow. Probably. We got to get pics oh. later. Wouldn't that have been cool if she was like, I love That's you. That's right. No. Yeah, monster <laughs> dolls, Merch. See, I told you I was going to take my home. Balling. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Make sure y'all check out Sever the Wicked on the Insta Face Tube Poker stuff. Yeah, yeah. find us. Um, and uh, I can't wait to hear some new music, man. All right, man. Y'all are a killer band. Well, I appreciate, it. I appreciate it. Keep, Keep it up. It. Keep it up. We was hoping somebody out there was listening. Yeah. At least one. At least I was the one. When you heard, woo, that was me. If we, oh, okay. if we get one, we're good. I, I thought it was just me. But. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, right. appreciate it.